YouTube. And today I'm going to show you why custom thumbnails are important to unlock the growth of your YouTube channel. We're also going to take a look at a few examples of custom thumbnails that work and some that don't. How to quickly design a custom thumbnail for free using Canva. And I'm going to teach you how to do this step by step so that you can get more views. Now before we dive right in, like and subscribe so I can bring you the latest tips and tricks on how you can grow your YouTube channel faster. For the next video, I'll be answering and featuring one of your questions. So if you have any more questions, about custom thumbnails, make sure to comment below or share what's been working for you or not working for you so that we can start a discussion to help each other out and grow a master community. So if you're ready to skyrocket the views on your YouTube channel, let's talk about custom thumbnails. Now you've heard that first impressions are important and your first impression on YouTube is your thumbnail. Literally, an impression is when your video is placed in front of a potential viewer and you can tell how well a thumbnail is doing based on the CTR or the click-through rate, which is the number of of clicks over the number of impressions, a higher CTR is going to indicate to YouTube that people are engaging with your video. And that makes the YouTube algorithm happy. Your goal is to tease the viewer with your thumbnail. Except you gotta do it in less than a second because that's all it takes for the viewer to decide if they wanna watch your video before they go on to read your title or click on another video. You gotta grab their attention immediately. Keep in mind that 500 hours of video are uploaded on YouTube every minute. And if your viewer cannot tell what your video is about by the thumbnail, that's like leaving money on the table or views on the table. You get it because views, money. All right, you may have the best video in the world, but if you cannot get anybody to click on it, it'll get buried deep in the sea of other videos that did not master the thumbnail. Lucky for you, you are watching how to master custom thumbnails. Let's get back to the drawing board and rethink your thumbnail. So in order to help you become a YouTube custom thumbnail master, let's talk about exactly what is a YouTube thumbnail. A YouTube thumbnail is a small image that represents what a video is about when people search on Google, YouTube, or any other partner site. Or depending on someone's search history, YouTube may recommend your video Video on someone's homepage because the algorithm is continuously serving videos that people want to watch. Okay, so by default, YouTube creates three screen grabs from your video during the upload process. And if you don't upload a custom thumbnail, you are letting YouTube decide your fate. Taking the extra time to create and master creating your very own custom thumbnails will go a long way to help you improve your CTR so that you can get more views on YouTube. Let's talk about custom thumbnails that make or break your channel. You have this thumbnail here and you have this thumbnail here which one would you pick? Let me know in the comments below. Now, in order to create the perfect custom thumbnail, let's talk about design requirements and a few tips to help you stand out. First, it needs to be 1920 by 1080 or 16 by 9 aspect ratio. Make sure it's a PNG, JPEG, or GIF, and that it's at least 2 megabytes. Also, do not place anything in the right hand corner. Let's jump into some design elements and more tips to help you stand out. Whenever you're creating a custom thumbnail, try to focus on faces. Focus on the eyes, do close-ups, use eye contact, show emotional cues on the faces. Are you mad? Are you sad? Are you frustrated? Are you confused? The goal is to establish human connection and you do that with strong emotion. Use the color wheel and think about complementary colors. If you want to make your thumbnail pop out, use bright colors. And if you use color contrast and outlines, it'll help your thumbnails stand out even more. Now, if you want to use text on a thumbnail, keep it at a maximum of three to four words. You don't want to use too much text in your thumbnail. Let the title do the job. As a bonus, thumbnails that have yellow perform better. So if it fits your brand, use it. You've heard about consistency on probably almost every YouTube video that shows you how to grow your YouTube channel. And that's because it's true. Even with thumbnails, you want to focus on using recognizable thumbnails on your YouTube channel. Think about your color palette, layout, the arrangement of your font, and other elements. Here are some more examples. The more you create, the better you'll get. So make sure to test, experiment, analyze and repeat. And sometimes if you have to, just break the rules. Ask yourself this very important question. Does this thumbnail represent the first 15 to 30 seconds of my video? And don't forget that thumbnails are important, but titles are also important. So let the title complement your thumbnail and tell a story. Here's an example of that. And in our final step, let's apply everything we learned and create our own custom thumbnail for free using Canva. First, we're gonna go to canva.com and create a free account. 
Once we're logged into our free account, go to the search bar and type in YouTube thumbnails. You'll see a large selection of free customizable thumbnails. For our purpose, let's start with a blank thumbnail. Now let's click on photos and find a bright colored background. For my thumbnails, I like to use a purple background. Go to the top menu and click adjust. Next, you want to adjust the vignette all the way to the right. Click on text and now start adding some text. Now I'm going to go ahead and quickly create my thumbnail. After finalizing your thumbnail, just go ahead and click download and get ready to upload it on YouTube. Comment below and tell me what do you use to create your own custom thumbnails. Don't forget to like and subscribe so that you don't miss more ways to grow on YouTube. And remember to stay creative, stay positive, and let's live an awesome life. Now if you want to learn more ways on how you can create two custom thumbnails for YouTube Shorts, watch this video here.